to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm just going to be going over how to change somebody's face into an animal face. So I've got here a, a photo of somebody and I've already got a tiger's head and I've rubbed out around the, the edges just with the eraser tool uh, to make this next part a bit easier. So I'm just going to take the head, copy that paste it onto my uh, current image and just go to transform just change the the size of the head and just bring it down to roughly the size that we we need so that's about that's about right there so I'm just going to zoom in now so what I'm going to do is change the opacity, come over here to the, the side and just lower the opacity so I can see the the face underneath and that's going to allow me to just move the the image around just to line up where the eyes are and where the, the mouth is and where the actual ears and head are so there we go, that looks that looks ok there so maybe a little bit of uh, a rotation just to line it up a bit better so I'm just using the transform tool just control T and that allows me just to rotate it slightly so I'm just going to apply that and that looks that looks okay there so the next thing we're going to do is just bring the opacity of the layer back up uh, not completely a hundred but just a bit more and then click on the tiger layer and add a, a mask and what this allows me to do is just use the paintbrush tool I can select a, a soft brush Let's see that should be that should be okay just bring it a bit smaller down select a soft brush get the opacity right up to a hundred and I'm going to change it to a colour of black because that has to be the opposite of what the, the layer mask is and then you can just come over onto the the image and just start to paint over it and that takes away the, the tiger image and drops, drops you back into the, the previous layer image and you're just going to go around just You'll, you'll have a different picture and just go round and obviously try and just f paint round where the this top of the head is or sort of round about the, the head area for you so here we are, I've just been round and rubbed the top part of the head out and I'm just going to concentrate now on the, the neck area and just sort of really start to sort of blend it into to where the neck meets the, the the tiger fur so I'm just as you can see there's a, a straight line there so I'm just going to sort of curve that round a bit and just let's just reduce the opacity on the brush a bit and just really just click sort of gently around that that area just to to lighten it up and take the line out. So there we go, that looks that looks much better. I'm just gonna clean up this edge bit here as well. So there we go, that's starting to already take shape. So another thing you can do as well is if you want you can use the transform tool again and you can come up to the warp tool and you can just as well sort of move the move the head around use the the warp tool to sort of just just create a bit more of a, a change in the head posture to to match the the head itself and if you've got like here the ears showing a little bit you can sort of pull the pull some of the fur out a bit just to mask over the ear pull the, the chin down a bit as well just to 
again break the, the surface up so I'm just going to apply that and that's starting to look ok there so next thing you're going to do is just come down to your previous layer where the layer of the face is and you can just use the burn tool and bring your exposure down to 50 change it to shadows and have a nice soft brush and you're just going to sort of very lightly sort of go underneath where the, the skin is just to create the, the illusion of the just a bit of depth there so there we go that's looking okay so I'm just going to bring the, the opacity back up and really that's all there is to it I mean you can play around and take a bit longer to uh, blend that in and uh, do a bit more sort of work around the, the head but there it's just as easy as that